Hi, I'm recording. How's it going? It's Debbie from Nature's Crest. Today I'm going to make a piano soap. Um, I'm starting to diversify and I'm trying to make actual um, specific soaps and creative soaps. And um, Today I'm going to make one that um, I'm hoping will turn out, so I'll take you along with me. This is a picture of what I'm going to do. So I've got my black keys and my white soap. Um, which has taken me several days to organise because I've had to make the black soap that goes in there. It's all cold processed soap, not melt and pour. Um, so I'm going to do first a layer of the white, then I'm going to put the keys in another layer of white over the top, and then I'm going to pipe on the top in a different method today. Um, and then I've got some little instruments and some little silver things to go on top and some more keys. So hopefully come along with me and hopefully it will work out. Um, so here we go, let's get started. Okay, welcome back. Now what I'm going to do is just mix my lye with my oils. Now I've had to measure out a specific amount because I'm only going three centimetres up in my mould before I put the keys on top. So I've actually divided the soap out, um, worked out by measuring my mould how much I need for the bottom layer. So I'll get started on that. So it's pretty simple. I've already put my fragrance oil in here, um, the percentage that I need. The rest of it's waiting to go into the next layer. So I'll just get started. I'm going to use titanium dioxide obviously to make the white in the bottom and try and make it as white as I can so it looks like a piano. So what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to stick blend um, my a lye solution in there. I've already got, as I said, got my fragrance oil, so I'll pour that in and then I'm going to put my titanium dioxide till I get the colour that I want. Now, you can't go overboard with titanium or you're going to get, um, the soap's going to be brittle and also if you use too much, you get tend to get um, glycerin rivers in it as well. I'm going to get every little bit of that um, a lye in there, which isn't much, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to give that a mix and then I'll put some titanium dioxide in that in a minute. I've worked with this fragrance oil with the black keys already so I know it doesn't change too much in the colour. titanium to start with, see how we go. I don't want to overdo it. it, should be plenty. It's still a bit yellow. Okay, so I'm going to have to add a bit more of this in here. Unfortunately, I'm going to need more because we've got yellow keys and we don't need that. So I'll have to mix up a little bit more. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've added some more titanium dioxide. I've added quite a lot and it's still not super white, but I'm not going to go any further because otherwise I'm going to have a brittle soap and that won't be any good. So I'm going to pour that in. It's pretty good consistency now because it's got to be fairly thick to sit the keys on top. So what I'll do is I'll get that into the mould quickly before it sets up. I've had to mix it a fair bit to get this titanium to go how I want it. So I'll give that a stir and then get it into the mould and see how we go. Hopefully it'll be at the right level because I've measured it as best I can. It's not so easy. Smells really nice. The fragrance is all called Icy Shine. It's a new one I've got from Nature's Garden in America because they've got some lovely fragrance oils. Cost me a million dollars to get it here, but it still costs reasonably similar to what I pay here. So I'm just going to go and tap that down. I'll bring you back in a moment. Okay, I'm back again. I've tapped it down and it's fairly flat and it's starting to set up. So now I have to put the keys on top. So what I'll do is I'll just put them, I want to put them fairly well spaced. So I'll just have to see how that goes. It's okay, I'm back again. 
I'm going to mix, I've decided not to divide this up, I'm just going to mix the rest of my batter that I've got um, and just wing it with the white. Um, so I'll just have to see how that goes because I don't think it's going to fit an awful lot in there. By the time these have taken away, I'm probably only going to have about 100 grams of um, actual white here and the rest will be the piping. So hopefully it will work out. Um, I'll push that aside for a moment and I'll just mix up my um, the rest of my oils and lye. And I might as well put the um, fragrance oil in now. It's all a bit nerve wracking when you do soaps like this for the first time. So um, you're coming along with me. This is seriously the first time I've done that. So I'm going to mix my lye in with my oils. I'll put the fragrance oil in now. So it's too late. If it goes fast, it goes fast. But I need it to set up for the piping anyway, so it's not so much of a stress. I'll put that away now. I can't add any TD now because I only need a small amount. So as I say, I'm just going to have to see how we go with that. So I will mix away. And see what happens. <coughs> the fragrance oil is going a little bit yellow, so that's obviously why I'm having trouble with the titanium dioxide having to put a fair amount in, which is a lot more than I've ever used before. So hopefully it will work out, but tomorrow we'll know when I cut the so I've just got that to emulsification because I don't want this to be thick at all yet because I'm going to have to pour in between those um, piano keys. And that's good enough now. That's fine because I'm going to have to mix it again with the titanium as well. So I'll divide that off. Um, I'm really not sure how much I need. So what I'll do is I might just measure um, 100 grams to start with and then I can always add more because I don't want to um, have too much of the white because I need it again. So I'll just get a jug. Measure that. Okay, I've decided to go with 200 grams to start with um, and pour that in and then if I need more I'll add more because obviously I need black left over there so I can't make it all white. So I have to just do this to start with and see how we go. Give that a stick blend and then hopefully I'll just get that. And that's, the that's a great colour, excellent. It's good enough so I'm going to have to quickly pour that in while um, it's still nice and liquidy because it has to go into the, oh, it's looking a bit, no, I have to stick blend it a bit more, it's got a few speckles in it from the TD so, I don't want to have speckles in the piano. extra has made it thicker but I'll just have to work fast and get it in and then get a bit more in until it's full and then we can relax and do the piping because that's you wait for that to set up there's no hurry at all for that one and that's looking good pour him in in the middle let it all go down now I need heaps more than that so I miscalculated for that completely That's okay, I'll just do another 200 and see what happens. I'll give him a tap down here. I want it to go right down, so I'll mix up another 200 in here. I'll weigh that out. I 
actually went with 250 that time because I think I need it. My TD is setting up here. go in there pretty good. Give it a stir. And hopefully that'll make it. Because I'm putting piping on the top. It just needs to go into the actual grooves of the piano keys, the black keys. down on the floor really hard so it goes all in between and I'll bring you back directly. Okay I'm back again. I've tapped this down um, and I've tried to scrape it make it fairly um, the same height. Done the best I can. Now I'm going to get on with the piping because the soap is setting up. So I'm going to divide this into black and white because I'm going to do half and half with the piping. So I'll get started on that and do that next. So you can't see what I'm doing, so I'm going to have to get you back into focus a bit better. Bear with me. Okay, I'm back in focus with the camera. It's not so easy. I'll just divide this up now into two equal parts. I'll put it into two jugs so I can really eyeball it then. I can't tell when it's in the red jug if it's more or less. Um, and it doesn't have to be identical, it's just as long as it's reasonable, same amount. So I'm going to go with um, the black. I've mixed up some activated charcoal and some black liquid um, to get the colour. That's what I did with the keys before. So I'll see how that goes. I've mixed the activated charcoal and a little bit of the soap batter this time. So I'm not adding too much more water in. Just give it a stick blend after I do the white. It might be might be a bit grey still. And we'll go with the TD in here. Give that a mix as well. I think it's going to be enough white. It doesn't have to be perfect with the top because I want it to not be too stark difference. Okay, so I'm going to stick blend now. So close your eye, ears. Well, that's looking great. Now I best get this off because I don't want to make the keys grey. So I'll just get rid of as much as this as I can before I stick blend. And there, golly, I'm making a huge mess today. Um, huge mess. I'm trying to keep you in the camera line and it's not easy doing it really. But I guess I'll get better as I go along. Let me do the black now. I'm going to add a little bit more black. Because I want it to be really dark. Here we go. Okay, that's going to have to do. Get rid of that. Get that out of the way. Now I just have to get this into my piping bag and off we go do some piping. We're nearly there. 
And as I said before in the beginning, um, I'll be watching another soap maker in America, Jen from Ann Suds and Such. She's really fantastic soap maker. I've learned a lot from her. Um, and she puts it in some sort of glad wrap and then puts it in the piping bag so you get the definition of the two colours and that looked really good. So I'm going to give that a go today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to wait for that to set up. Um, it has to be a bit thicker than that before I can pipe. So I'll say goodbye again for a moment and we'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back again. Now this is what I'm going to do with the piping. As I was saying before, I was watching this on another video and if you lay the two colours out and put them in the piping bag like this, you get a distinct difference in the colour. Normally I just put some white and some black or whatever colours I'm using in the piping bag and it sort of looks good. But I thought I'd try this today because I really want a distinction between the keys and the as I've done with the soap, so I thought this would be the best way to do it. So what you have to do is just lay this down it's still too runny, but I'll just show you how I do it now. And then I roll it together and put it in the piping bag. So this is what I'm going to do. And then I just have to wait for it to set up. I hope you can see me okay. So I'm going to do two logs like this, so then I just interchange them. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping it's going to work. I'm going to roll that over like so and roll the other one back as well and they're all going to go together like that and then i just got to wait for it to set up I don't want to put it together but I'll have to get it to come together so I'm just going to leave it like that for a little while now I have to wait now because it has to be piping consistency or it just will be runny and it will just run all over the site as you can imagine so I'll do the same with this one I'm going to come along straighten it out a bit better I thought this would be better this is freezer bags that I've cut up because I think you've got more control over that. I don't know, but I'm hoping. As you can see, it's still far too runny to actually pipe yet, but I'll just get it sorted out in here, and then I'm not trying to hurry, because once it starts setting up, it doesn't take long to do that. Let's make that in a log. And there's nothing worse. I did that the other day when I was making a new soap, the Mermaid Tails Cupcakes. And I just waited too long and by the time I got it in the piping bag, I couldn't pipe it and I was made a hell of a mess. Had to throw it out. When you get past the point of no return, it's no good. So you just got to do the best you can. But it's just all experience. But... I had used a new fragrance oil as well that I hadn't used before and I'm going to blame that but it's set up really fast. Some things are easier to use than others. These, as I say, I've just bought these from Nature's Garden and um, I used it in the Black Keys and it was fairly good so I thought well it won't be setting up. Some, some things just accelerate. If they say they're going to accelerate it, it just isn't worth using it because you just haven't got enough time unless you're using one colour soap or no colour and you just quickly um, put it in the batter and get on with it. But when you're doing something intricate like this, you need to have full control of everything. I'm just going to give my hands a wipe. Fold this one up and then we're good. I'm just going to cut a bit of that off because I think it wrapped around too much last time. Just a bit off the end. Just to hang on to my hand. Okay, I might just put that down a bit here. I don't want it to be. So you can see it's already setting up, so it's we're nearly getting there. Oh, got my hands dirty again now. Let's just go for it before I lose it. Again, here we go. Let's push it down. And just leave 
that there for a while. Turn that over so I can put them over like that. That's good. I'll just push that down and I'm going to cut that off in a moment. This one up there can stay. So I'm just going to leave it for a while now and then I'll be able to tell um, how it's going. I might just I'll get my bag ready. This is here ready to go because you really need to be ready to go. You haven't got time when you're making soap to sort of, um, you know, muck around. So there we go. Um, I'm just going to turn it off for a moment and get you all set up so you can actually see the piping. I don't think I've, I've got the camera working properly. Thank you. Okay, I'm set up now. I think I've got you in line. I'm going to cut this off here because this is the end we're going to stick down into the actual piping bag. So wish me luck. Hopefully this will work. As I said, I've never done it before and I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm going to get cracking because it's already setting up. Now let's start, see how we go. Oh yeah, it's working good. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, good one. Now, as you can see, I've got lines um, on here, so I'm, these bars are quite a bit bigger because I want to make them bigger. Oh, it worked out great. I'm happy with that. You can see what I'm doing. Not easy trying to concentrate and watch the camera and as I say hopefully I'll get better. These bits here I've left on the end because they're the sample ones um, they're, they're, because they won't show up good so I have to cut the bars a certain size. They're one inch 2.5 centimeters. So I'm doing my soaps a bit bigger with these creative soaps I call them. And this worked out good. I'm glad I gave it a go because it looks nicer with the two colours I think for this particular theme. any faster. One more here. And I just gauged what sort of how much soap I was going to need so um, I'm just going to see how it works out. I'm going to put a blob in there. Hopefully I'll have enough to put all my little bits and pieces on. Starting to thicken up, but I'm trying to work fast. I think I'll have plenty of piping because I was a bit worried I wouldn't have enough soap for the top because I just gauged what I needed for when I put the keys in it. Whoopsie daisy. over my bag now, which looked easy, yep, yeah, that's great, I can get rid of that and just put my next one in, so this one's ready as well, I'll cut that off here, sorry I didn't bring you in with me, pop this in back in here, that's another bag, as you can see I've just popped it in again like the other one, and I better get cracking because as you can see it's getting a bit firm, that's good. Him down. Okay, so one on the top. Let's 
getting hard for me to push it out. So as I say, you can see how it sets up pretty quick. I'm going to make it... Oops. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, I'll have to go back to the drawing board. I'll turn you off for a minute. Okay, I'm back again. Well, that was a bit of a disaster. My piping set up really quickly at the last bit, but I managed to salvage it and sort of push it through and make it look reasonable. I'm going to cover it in lots of things, so hopefully you won't notice that a few little bits at the end weren't as good as those ones. So what I'm going to do now, I've got some bedazzled mica, it's called, and I've just mixed it with a bit of olive oil, and I'm going to put a drizzle over there. I'm just waiting on some pipettes to come, which are still coming from somewhere. So I've got a glass one here. It doesn't work quite as well, but I'll see how I go. Um, I want to put that on it. Um, actually, no, I'm going to put the keys in first. That's what I need to do while it's still nice and firm. So that's going to go in the middle, like so. As you can see, it's already setting up too much. I probably should have got cracking a bit sooner with the um, piping, seeing I had so much to do. I'm just going to pop these all in the centre here. I'm going to have to push them in firmly because it's already setting up. So it's okay, I'm going to make it. As you can see, it's a bit nerve wracking, but we'll get there. I didn't know what else to put on the top, so I thought they were a good idea at the time. Hopefully they will look good when I cut them. I've got some little instruments and all that to go on, so hopefully they'll look good too. This is a bit boring, but if you want to watch along, I'll fast forward it. Really nice and firm in there, thank goodness. pianos and everything else on as well. I'm going to go in there. Hopefully I've got enough of them. I did count. Okay, looking good. Supposed to have had 17. Yay! That's good. Now I'm going to put my little thingy me jigs on here. I've got some little pianos. Hard to see against the black, so I'll go along. Not all of them are going to have pianos. I'll put that further along here because I have to cut the soap there. That was a solid thing to do. Um, that's looking okay. I think I'm going to fit him in that piano. Does it matter? They're all going to be separate bars so I can put them together, doesn't matter when I cut them. Hope you can see it okay what I'm doing. As I said I'm pretty hopeless at this filming thing at the moment. If you're going to see them all that well, but anyway, we'll give it a try. It's hard to find little things like this. I was trying to think what I could put on it. If anyone's got any ideas for next time, if I make it again, and I'm going to just put them these sort of like random ones. Little, I've got little saxophones. And I've got little clarinets. And I did some little balls, silver balls as well, but I don't know if that's a bit of an overkill. That's these here. I don't know if they're going to be good or not. But I'll just keep going with these for the moment. And see what happens. I'm going to put my drizzle on soon. Gosh, I'm making a bit of a mess of this, aren't I? Oh, well. Sure, not perfect, but it's 
some soap makers make it look really easy. Anywho. If you've hung in with me this long, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's a process and a half today. Put that one layer. Put that little note in here. Okay, now what about these balls? What do you think? Are they too much? Yeah, I'm not going to put them on. They're no good. I'm going to put a little bit of drizzle. You see, it's sort of so much better with those other pipettes that I used to have, but doing it or not, maybe. I don't know. I like drizzle and I like glitter. It'll soak in, I think. Okay. Yeah. They look okay on the keys, actually, but maybe not. Put it on the top, hey? They look good like that, I think. Just a bit on the top. The soap isn't um, harsh now, it's once it goes hard it's not, it doesn't hurt you like when it's liquid better. That's why I haven't got gloves on, otherwise I'd be going ow. I think they look good. What do you think? I hope so, I hope you think it looks good. Bring it back like so, I'm trying to find the right spot now, put some glitter on the top. Oh, I hope it works out underneath, I'm hoping. Okay, I'll show you close up, see what you think. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's been a bit of a hassle, but we got there in the end. Please give me a thumbs up and prescribe to my channel. And I have got soaps for sale. I live in Dawesville or I've got an online store, but I'll put all the links down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm back. I have um, been curing the soap now since yesterday. And I think it's pretty good now to cut. So I've cut one slice. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a wonky piano, but I'm fairly happy with it. I can see the little embeds on top. They look cute and the keys. So I'll show you how I cut my soap if you want to come along with me. I have to put it in the individual... Um, cutter because the slices are big. Normally I just do about a one point, I don't know, a two point one or something. These are nearly two point five, so they're quite a bit bigger. I'll just adjust the camera so you can see it better. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back again. Um, hopefully you can see it okay. I'm going to organise something else. Um, my husband is working on something to help me with this camera business because I need it in front of me. But anyway, we'll persevere with this right now. So I'm just going to cut them in between the keys and see how it turns out. And that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good, I think, and it smells really nice. It's got a lovely fragrance. Um, I'll pop that over there and I'll just keep going if you want to watch along with me. Otherwise, turn me off. As everybody knows, handmade isn't exact. Some slices 
are a little tiny bit more than others. It's just the way it is. It's pretty hard to do it exactly. Because of the piping on the top, it's, some slices are going to be 10 grams more than the other. Or, um, get that exactly in the middle. And that's good. I got him. The black pianos obviously don't stand out as good as the white ones. So that's something I've learnt. Let's put that down there. I guess if it was on white soap, we'd be okay. See that bit's a fair bit bigger. There we go. They're nice, the two distinct colours, I think. That's pretty good. Oh well. I gave it my best shot. I think when I tapped it down to get all the batter to go between the keys, that's probably why that one's moved, I guess. I got a bit too forceful, but you have to sort of do that to make sure it goes into the grooves um, and we don't have any bubbles. Anywho, that's the way it is. Wiping that so it doesn't leave a streak down the soap. That's pretty good. These will be ready to purchase if you're interested in them. In four to six weeks, probably six weeks, I like to sell my soaps so that you get a really good bar of soap, a really hard bar of soap. Um, but if you're not going to use them straight away, then I usually don't pack them for six weeks. So The longer that you keep a bar of soap, the harder it is, the more the water evaporates and the better it is and the longer it lasts. But the only thing with that is you've got to be careful because some of the fragrances dissipate before then. So you can sometimes end up without much fragrance. But... I've had soaps that are 18 months old and I can still smell them, but I guess if you kept them for years. There we go. There, we go. the bits on the end aren't very good. Oh, I'll cut the little piano a bit then. Cute. The little embeds, a lot of them are just too small and fiddly. To be bothered putting them on. Okay, that's a bit thinner. I weighed the first one, it was probably about 170 grams, which was quite a big bar of soap, really. Put that one back before I knock him over. And this one here, I need to cut the end off. We don't want the white bit to show. Make sure he's nice and straight. You might as well give you a decent bar and cut it off, but you want to be able to see the keys. Now that's pretty good. These bits on the ends will be samples, or I usually use them, give them away. Yeah, so what do you think? Not too bad considering it was a bit of a um, mammoth task, but we got there in the end. Okay, well thank you very much for watching, see you, don't forget to subscribe and give me a tip, thanks.